Today, we're gonna make a water pan for my DIY CNC plasma cutter. So this pan is about three inches thick all the way around. Uh, the actual bed of the frame is five foot by six foot, but as you know, CNC machines don't cut as wide as they are. So this machine cuts 48 by 60 or four foot by five foot. I'm gonna make the pan just a little bit bigger than that. Uh, it'll be 54, actually it ends up being about 55 inches wide because the sheet I started with was 60 and a half inches wide. We'll use that extra material on the short side and then the back edge will be 64 inches long. But let's get started. So seeing as how I don't have a press brake that's five foot wide, or really just a press brake at all, I'm gonna have to bend this sheet metal by hand. So the only thing I got to use is this trailer. The angle iron rail here is gonna be one of my forming edges. I'll clamp a piece of angle iron on top of it, and then I'll use my form tool that I made to kind of bend that three inch edge all the way around. This is that form tool. It's just it's a couple of pieces of real thick steel, looks like about an inch thick, that I welded to a piece of inch and a half square that I'll just jam up against the edge and uh, be able to kind of bend this little by little.
that's a pan. It's not pretty by any means, but you can't really expect a lot from forming it by hand. Uh, the biggest thing is it should hold water. That's really all I'm looking for. Gotta do that to the other three corners. First things first, we gotta pull this dude out of the corner. So there you have it, there's our pan. Uh, I'm not gonna weld those supports in, that square tube and that angle iron. I eventually want to, but for right now, I just need to keep it clamped. So when we do the slats on the bed and everything, I wanna make sure that that bed is as flat to the gantry as possible. So my digital height control doesn't have a lot of work to do. I think it turned out pretty well. About as good as you can hope for. I think it'll hold water, so that's good. So next video, we're gonna work on the slat supports for the table, and then also be cutting the slats on this machine. Pretty excited about that, so we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>